Hi, I'm back, and I've been working on making a new keyboard. I'm calling it the Atreus Plus. It's just the regular Atreus, except for it has uh, one more column on each side and a row, another row on the bottom. So I've been using this keyboard for about a week now, and I'm really enjoying it. I really like the split layout, and on this keyboard I chose the Zelios uh, 67Gs, and nice and tactile. Um, I still miss the clicky from the blues. I'm a blue person, I guess. Um, one of the things that I don't like about this board in particular are these buttons here. I like the idea of using thumb buttons, uh, but these just aren't pre placed well. You have to have your finger or your thumb all clawed up in order to use that. It would be much better down here. And I've been looking into other layouts and the Aerodox looks really awesome. So I'm going to be making that keyboard next and I will go back to using my clicky blues except for this time. I'm going to be using Gadron instead of Cherry just because I hear they're a lot more tactile. So this was constructed with four sheets of plywood and originally it was going to be three but there was enough clearance for the teensy that's inside the middle here to actually fit with only one sheet. Uh, if I would add just a little bit uh, thicker piece of plywood then it would have been fine but this is only uh, 0.19 inch plywood instead of 0.25 which is what I wanted um, just because that's what the hardware store had. I'm really happy with the finish that turned out here. I applied some pre-stain and then I stained it and then I sanded it some more and then finally I put uh, I believe it was six coats of lacquer on the bottom and on the top. Uh, the sides I just have stained. I might go back and actually put lacquer on the sides as well but I think it looks fine how it is. Um, so for the rest of the video I'll be going through and showing you all the steps I did to make this. Uh, I cut this out on my Shapoko 3. I designed this up uh, with using OpenSCAD. There was an OpenSCAD uh, file already online and I just took it and added the two more columns and the one more row which ended up with this design. I ended up tweaking it a little bit because my CNC isn't quite perfect, so I made the hole sizes for the switches a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to have to calibrate my CNC a little bit more, see if I can get it a little bit stiffer. But uh, everything turned out well. Everything fits great. Um, there's a couple keys that are a little bit staggered, but those are actually the caps. So I got my caps from Signature Plastics, uh, pimp my keyboard. And these are PBT uh, DSA, and I haven't used DSA before. Um, really quite liking them. Uh, I think it's more the texture than the actual form of the key. Uh, the profile was actually still fine, uh, which is what I have on the Poker 3, the OEM profile. But DSA, um, I hear some people really hate it, some people really, really like it. I tend to be in more of the camp of really liking it. Um, so I got uh, green and purple. I missed out on the Trouble Mindset on a Mass Drop or Geek Hack or wherever that was. Um, but I ended up creating my own and poor man's Trouble Mindset right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it except for just going to be going through and how I made this now.
So if you enjoyed these videos, want to see more, um, just go ahead and hit the like button, you know, hit subscribe, you know, downvote me, tell me why, complain, comment, whatever. Uh, I'd like to hear your feedback. Thanks.